Shupmo Winamaze, Ryan Jake Lambert here, yes dev. So this is gonna be uh just a just a little thing about something I forgot from a previous episode about programming for beginners. Something that I and many people who are starting out have had issues with, because it requires a change in the way you think. But I I just kind of forgot to mention it before. It's just that you should be uh predictive when you uh, program and not reactive. The common way you run into this is when you start programming a, a, a thing for the player to move and you want walls or a floor, some sort of boundary. And a, a newbie programmer will end up uh, following this pattern of problem solving usually, which is they don't want the thing to go through the boundary so they check if the thing is in the boundary, and then they push it out. And this usually doesn't work very well. You end up with all sorts of really fun bugs where the thing goes through the boundaries anyways, or it bounces back at a million miles per hour, or if you go in two directions, it just... Yeah. And that's because that's a reactive way to problem solve that. What you want to do for that specific problem is rather than ever letting the character go into the bounds, you're you're the you're the computer. You can see into the future. So in, instead of ever letting the thing into the boundaries, you check where you're going to move the thing. So you're moving to, towards a wall, and you say, if I move this guy this far, will he end up in a wall? And if if he will end up in a wall, then you don't let that happen. And and of course that would lead to like a, a floating buffer. You solve that by just figuring out how far the uh, thing can go so that you just touch the bounds instead of going into the bounds. And that might be different depending on, you know, whether you're using a tile-based world or a, to, to check a pixel at a time until you figure out where you're, where it's supposed to go. But yeah, so that's um that's the predictive way you would figure out that problem. And that's like a, an important mental change you have to make as you get into programming, that you are God of the world. You know everything, not just as it is now, but how it will be in the future, how it was in the past. You control everything, as long as you keep random number generators out of it. <laughs> uh, and that's it. I told you it was short. It is. It is. It is.